problem says that we have a 9 meter cubed container and it's filled with 300 kilograms of refrigerant. So I'm going to start drawing a picture. So we have refrigerant 134A. We have a 9 meter cubed container. So I'm going to put the volume is equal to 9 meters cubed. It has 300 kilograms of refrigerant. So the mass is equal to 300 kilograms. And it says it's at 10 degrees Celsius, so temperature is 10 degrees Celsius. And we want to know what is the specific enthalpy of the R134A in the container. So we're looking for the H, so the specific enthalpy. So in order to do this, we need to, first of all, figure out what our phase is. So we need to know, is this a compressed liquid? a saturated mixture, or a superheated vapor. And in order to do that, we can, we weren't given the pressure, so we can't just look at the temperature and pressure, but we were given, the, we are given the temperature, and we have the information that we need to calculate the specific volume. So if we know the temperature and the specific volume, we can determine what the phase is. So the specific volume well, I'm just going to write, so V, so the specific volume is equal to the volume over the mass. So this is equal to 9 meters cubed over 300 kilograms, which is equal to 0 0.03 meters cubed per kilogram. So our specific volume is 0 0.03 meters cubed per kilogram. So now we can go to the table and figure out what phase we're in. So now I'm looking at the saturated refrigerant 134A temperature table. And the reason why I'm looking at the temperature table is because I was given the temperature of the refrigerant. So it told us that the refrigerant was at 10 degrees Celsius. So that means that the volume of the saturated liquid is 0.000. .000 7929, and the volume of the saturated vapor is 0 0.049466. And the specific volume of our refrigerant is 0 0.03 meters cubed per kilogram. So this means that our specific volume is less than the specific volume of the saturated vapor because that was 0 0.049466 and it's greater than the saturated volume of the, or sorry, the specific volume of the saturated liquid because that was 0 0.0007929. So that means that we have a saturated mixture. So what we need to do is calculate the quality. So since we have a saturated mixture, we need to know we need to know the quality or we need to know how much of uh, how much liquid and how much vapor we have. So we can calculate the quality from x. So the quality is x is equal to v. So the the saturate or sorry, the specific volume minus the specific volume of the liquid over VFG. And remember this VFG is equal to VG minus VF. So the specific volume of the vapor minus the specific volume of the liquid. So X is equal to 0 0.03 minus 0 0.00079 divided by 0 0.049466 minus 0 0.0007929. So this is equal to 0 0.6. So that means that our quality is 0 0.6. We just calculated that x, or the quality, so x is equal to 0 0.6. So now 
what the question is, is what is the specific enthalpy? So the enthalpy is equal to the enthalpy of the liquid plus the quality multiplied by enthalpy of vaporization. So now we can look up this HF and enthalpy of vaporization. So we can look these up on the table. So let's go back to the table. This is the table we were just looking at. And enthalpy, so the saturated liquid enthalpy is right here. And the enthalpy of vaporization is right, right here. So we can just go over. And so HF is 65.42 kilojoules per kilogram. And the enthalpy of vaporization is 190.8 kilojoules per kilogram. And plug these into our equation. So H, or the enthalpy, is equal to 65.42 kilojoules per kilogram. Plus the quality, which is 0 0.6 multiplied by 190.8 kilojoules per kilogram. And this is equal to 179.9 kilojoules per kilogram. And the problem was asking us for the specific enthalpy, so this is our answer.